No, anything but the Razor back or Mordor. I mean, first off, why is the Razor back or Mordor back so early? When was the... No, it was the Fomorian that was back last. Well, that's kind of expected. You can tell when these are about to turn up. If you go to Intrinsics on the hub, on the menu, on the star chart, Hmm, not really sure what to call this one now, but it comes up in the bottom right. You can see Razorback on Mordor, it is a full circle. So the Razorback on Mordor is here. The Fomorian is over halfway to coming back, but, well, it's attacking the Strata Relay, which is bad for a handful of different reasons. It all comes back to the message you get to your inbox and the fact that you need to get a hold of cryptographic ALUs to build these things. Because you have to do this mission three times, the cryptographic ALU only drops from Arcwing missions. Which means heading to Neptune and going to Stalsia at the bottom here. The mobile defense mission is the best place to get it from. You can tell because there will, as long as this is running, be people playing on this mission. That is the best place to go to get cryptographic ALUs. Remembering that, kind of sadly, these are going to be nothing more than run as quick as you can style missions because that's how people tend to play these, and it's this way. Because, well, you can take out the enemies along the way, there's nothing stopping you, but if you play it on public, then nine times out of ten they will be speedrunning this. You do have to kind of watch out for the bursas. The bursas are slightly obnoxious, the hyena pack make it worse, but they're never that long anyway. And speaking of, where did you go? Where did... okay. I did say hyena there, didn't I? Yes, there you are. And now you're gone. <laughs> this guy is fairly easy to actually take out. Why won't you let me access this? There you go. He'll come out the floor. Unlike the Jackal fight, it is not a two-phase thing. You basically need to go to one side or the other, jump up here, access this terminal, uh, hope that auto-breach kind of works, which it didn't, as you could kind of expect. <laughs> Silly thing. It works sometimes. It releases a Versa that you take down. Hack again. Yeah, you can go away. And, well, you cannot damage this guy. Razorback is immortal until, and he's immortal again, even though he really shouldn't be at that point, until the hyena takes his shields off and then he goes into that downed phase, then rinse and repeat. Uh, anybody else? No? Uh, I guess it's all on me then. I want you hack. Then take them out, rinse and repeat this, take the bursa down. The Bursa will then knock its shields down, which puts it into a state where you can actually damage it. Sometimes, there it goes. Then you can damage it. And then you just keep going until it is basically dead. And just like the Jackal, do not stand underneath it, because standing underneath it will make it um, stomp, which is never good. And I'm quite happy to be the one doing this, because, well, need to hack six terminals anyway. Should be the last time now. That's why you don't stand underneath it. Versa, attack. Oh, okay. That works too. And it's down. Just do that three times and you will receive the reward from this. Oh, I should probably have taken you all out while you were coming through that door while I had the chance to. Oops, my bad. I should have known better than that. Yeah, hyena, go away. I'm not having that. Not today. And just like everything else, the exit will probably be very close by anyway. I just ran completely the wrong way and done. Easy peasy. Now, another reason for doing this is, well, you can get a hold of the Gorgon Wraith, which is a pretty decent weapon in itself. It's also the only way to get this weapon. They do drop quite often and there's only four parts, the barrel, stock, receiver and the blueprint itself. Razorback is also where you get the 120% puncture mods from, which is also really useful if you do not have these it's always worth getting a hold of them same as the heat and status chance of 60 percent each for the arc melee more importantly the same thing but for the arc gun yes i know it's the only one that kind of drops from the razor back you can also get it from the profit taker and from the pride captain but razor back is probably one of the easiest ways to get a hold of this 
and it's worth doing to save a relay anyway. Plus, it's worth doing because, well, you get an Orokin Catalyst and 200,000 credits. But as aforementioned, you do have to do it three times. So rinse and repeat three times. After you've done the third one, you will obviously get the inbox message with your Orokin Catalyst and your 200,000 credits in there. Which, well, the Catalyst is going to become very useful tomorrow with everything that's supposed to be coming. Mainly Ureli. Uh, well, Ureli's weapon. Kind of looking forward to see how that works. A reactor would have been better for Ureli herself. But yeah, you've got to build the lab for that. And, well, we'll have to see how that goes tomorrow. But until then, obviously, we have to take down Razorback. Preferably before... The three days is up, otherwise we lose the Strata Relay, which would just kind of suck. And with that, I think we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.